Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to crack or patch a program. So the first step to doing this is to run the program that you want to crack, right? Um, enter your serial, test, whatever, right? Check. And uh, you're going to get a message here. Now you want to write this message down because it's important to remember, you know, or you can just remember it. This one is pretty short, but I'm going to write it down just for um, being a good role model or whatever. So this serial you entered is not correct, right? Press OK. Now I'm going to open up Ollie DBG, and I I don't know why, but I always struggle pronouncing the name or whatever. And you can open it up using that little open uh, file dialog, or you can just drag and drop it over. Now notice how it says module ntdll. You want to um, you don't want that one right now, or I mean you don't want that uh, module. It's the uh, wrong one. So we're it's like starting up. That's starting up module whatever. You just play it a couple times until you get one that you recognize. Right. This is the actual program module here. And this is very important that you're working within the correct module, where it'll get, um, or it'll be a really difficult to actually do this. So you search for, so you right-click and then you go search for all referenced text strings, and you'll notice right away that you that the message shows up here. Now, if you have a lot of them, you just right-click and you go search for text, and then you type in that um, message you entered is not correct right press ok and then it will find it for you so let's just double click there and it will bring us to the point in the program where it shows up now all this stuff here this is um PE code or whatever I don't remember what what the name of the code is but you should just know it's um a type of language and in my previous videos I told you about binary code and how this works these um, letters and stuff or words they're not actually words they're um, they're binary code they're um, commands pretty much represented in uh, their their raw numbers represented in the text <coughs> so um, right off the bat this sort of gives you the feeling that it's um, an if statement right um, text title whatever right so um, you see the serial you entered is not correct and then see here it says text you yep you've entered the correct serial right you don't even have to read all this junk here to get a feeling that that's what exactly what this is here an if statement but uh, if you want to look in uh, in um, more detail you can notice these at these um, these here are like the addresses of the line or the program code to jump to so this is saying um, if the condition is uh, true then um, jump to this line or whatever right um, and I don't even think I need to go there whatever so the easy quick and easy way to do this is just to reverse them right right now it's saying if it's true but we want to make it if it's not true so there's an easy way to do that you just change the J E which means if it's true to J N Z which means if it's not true right you click assemble close it and then you're just gonna go um, run and it doesn't like me Oh, there it is. Okay, it showed up under here, I think. There we go. So, you see, yep, you entered this correct serial, then it closes. Now, let's see, you want to save it. Um, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, you guys can figure out how to save it. I haven't actually spent that much time um, saving my patches and shit. But you know it's somewhere anyway that's pretty much all there is to it uh, you can get like really crazy ass and actually learn all of this uh, language junk right now that's here 
so uh, there's not much to it, right? It takes a bit of um, work learning all these things like call and then it's like, you know, it's calling a function, right? Uh, you might recognize these if you've done a programming with Windows, right? Call message box, right? Um, push, uh, these are, um, I believe push means to add to the stack and uh, you need to do a bit more research on this it's a bit difficult to explain a stack anyway I don't want to go into too much detail so this is hot noob um, come check out my blog and uh, see you guys later